Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. In this video, you're going to learn how to add your Shopify products to Google Merchant Center next. This allows you to set up Google Shopping and Performance Max campaigns for your store and generate sales and profits. Now, before you do this, I do recommend that you go through our video on making your e-commerce store compliant for Google Merchant Center and Google Shopping. This video will help prevent you from getting a nasty suspension, which is one of the worst things that can happen to your Google Merchant Center account. I'll leave a link to that video down below. Let's get into setting up our Shopify products on Google Merchant Center next. Let's go. We're going to start in your Shopify store account. From the admin page, click settings, then apps and sales channels. Now click this Shopify app store button. Search for the Google and YouTube app, which should look something like this page. Click install. Confirm here that you'll allow Google the necessary access to your store's information by clicking install once more. Okay, we're now installed and we want to connect it to your Google account. Click connect Google account. You'll likely be prompted to sign in with your Google ID. Of course, choose the one associated with your Google Ads and Google Merchant Center accounts for this store. Google asked to confirm several times. Now, as long as you've completed all the steps for Google compliance in the video I mentioned earlier, you'll now be asked to connect your Google Merchant Center account. You'll likely just have one to choose from, but if you do have more, just make sure that the ID that you're selecting is the same for the account that you're connecting to. Click connect. Scrolling down further, let's review our product feed settings. Looking into product sync settings, the option is to let the app automatically sync with Merchant Center. Of course, let's leave that to automatic. Here, we choose the countries we'll advertise and deliver to and the languages we offer customer services in. And for shipping settings, I recommend you set it to automatically import shipping settings. This will make sure that your shipping settings are always in sync between Shopify and Google, as well as checkout link settings. We want to control this kind of information at just one source, our Shopify store. Let's agree to these terms and conditions here and click complete setup. Switching to your Google Merchant Center account, we're now going to check if it's worked. Now, you'll need to give the system up to an hour to connect so we don't do this right away. But after a few minutes, go to the gear icon in the upper right corner and click on it for the settings menu. Click data sources. We see here that a data source has indeed been created called Content API. That's how we get our Shopify products set up on Google Merchant Center next. After you get this done, you're going to need to go and optimize your products and your product feed in your Google Merchant Center next account. Doing this allows you to generate way more traffic, way more sales and way more profits for your e-commerce store. I have a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do this. I'll leave a link down below. Also, this video here is actually part of our free Google Shopping course. It shows you everything you need to set up, optimize, and scale your Google Shopping campaigns to over 100K per month. It's completely free, it's on our website. I'll leave a link to that course down below. Also, if you're already generating over 20K per month in sales with your e-commerce store and you need help getting to seven figures and beyond, get in touch with my team and I. We scale our clients' e-commerce stores day in, day out using Google Ads, Facebook Ads, and conversion rate optimization. Book a time with my team and I, and we'll talk through how we'll do this for your store. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Make sure to click here for the next video in the free course, and I'll see you there.